What's up guys, it's Riley, and today we're gonna to be talking about e-bikes. Specifically this modded high voltage 105 volt battery on XRCR, which has been modded to go about 25% faster than the stock bike, as well as this home-built camera rig that should hit speeds of up to 70 miles an hour, as well as carry a Movi M15 and camera package, like let's say a red Komodo. So first let's talk a little bit about the Onyx. Stock components, this dash CT22, this headlight, the frame, also the forks and the triple tree. New components, brake light, shocks, peg, rear brake, feed controller, battery, lights, turn signals, separate throttle for regen, USB port for five volt charging, new grip, <laughs> throttle, phone mount, camera mount, and of course, to accommodate all of this crap, we have a totally new wiring harness in there. Also at one point there were speakers, but that doesn't fit with my new battery. So what's different on this bike than the stock bike? Like, why did I do all this crap? What does it do? Let's talk about the biggest upgrade, uh, the battery. The battery here is a 96 volt nominal battery. That's 26S. That is a lot of juice. The stock battery is a 20S, 23 amp hour. This is a 35 amp hour, 26S battery. To install it, I actually had to cut the battery tray walls, but you shouldn't need to do that with the new 1.5 bikes. Now, a 96 volt nominal battery meant that I had to replace a few components uh, because they can't handle such high voltage, like the speed controller and the DC-DC. The speed controller is the thing that's responsible for driving the motor. It's made by a company called Called Kelly and it takes up to 72 volts nominal and the DC DC uh, is some Chinese brand also takes up to 72 volts nominal my new battery 96 volts would fried both components so you're probably wondering how it rides and to be honest I haven't tested it fully yet it snowed recently here in New York the streets have been covered in salt and they've been wet and I'm waiting to test it because I actually have the opportunity in the future to test it on a real runway I did manage to get one run in at 72 volts on the old battery with the new controller so this is the bike before I put the new battery in it's about 50% complete with the mod and it already goes faster than the stock onyx so stay tuned to see that in another video but now i'm going to talk a little bit about the camera bike so this e-bike is based on a frame i found on ebay it's running a qs273 motor that is 3.5t with a 72 150 saviton controller in english that just means this bike is really fast and really powerful how fast probably like 70 miles an hour how powerful Probably like five seconds to get there. It's running a 52.5 amp hour battery, which is bigger than the battery on the Onyx. However, it's a 72 volt battery, which is a lower voltage, so top end speed should be slower. On the handlebars there, we got a Teradek and a monitor. The Teradek transmits video down to my operator. The monitor is so I can see while I'm riding. And then of course in the back on the seat mounts a vibration isolator that carries a Movi M15 gimbal and a cinema camera package like a red Komodo or even up to something as big as like a red Gemini. So without further ado, let me show you some test footage of this bike in action. And that is all I've got for you guys today. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in more of this type of content, definitely stay tuned. Um, there will be a lot more footage coming of the Onyx, hopefully breaking some speed records. I'll be posting some videos of this, shooting action sequences and chase scenes. So once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.